Hey guys, Sonic Smashbar here with a Pokemon TCG deck profile once again, specifically one we've already done. Yeah, I profiled the Mewie X Ninja Box quite a while back, I want to say on Christmas actually, well at the time of recording, and with Sun and Moon Base and Guardians Rising now out, I think it's time we update this profile, shall we? Mostly the same stuff as before, starting with two Mewie X for Versatile, being able to use the attacks of any Pokemon in play, both yours or your opponents, if you have the necessary energy. Replace, you're almost never going to use, you're mostly using this for Versatile. Love the XY promo art, by the way, I wish I had a second of those. As far as copy targets, still the same as before, two Jolteon EX for Flash Ray. Lightning and two colorless, 70 damage, block all damage from basic Pokemon. No, I don't have the full art, I wish I did. Although it won't really matter too much because for some stupid reason it's not an actual promo so much an alternate artwork, quote unquote. And it's just a stupid decision. Also, two copies of Glaceon EX for Crystal Ray, one or two colorless, 70 damage. Block all damage from evolution Pokemon. Now, with the new GX mechanic in Sun and Moon, Red Eyes kind of lost a lot of its usefulness. So we need another option. Horus GX. With a DCE, you've got everything available. So Horror Attack is alright if you're going second, but you really want to focus on Mad Bull GX. You can only use one GX attack per game, but this hits hard. Specifically, 30 damage times the amount of damage counters on your Pokemon. So for instance, if Tauros say has 160 damage, that amounts to I wanna say 480. We still have one Espeon in the X in here, mostly for Psy Shock, Psychic 2 got a list of damage, and this blows through everything. But, this also gets a secondary use now thanks to the GX mechanic, essentially functioning like Generation 3 EXs, by that I mean you have to evolve into them. Miraculous Shine. If you've dealt, like, say, 90 damage to a Decidueye, you can use Miraculous Shine to knock out the Dartrex. It's crazy, but amazing. For those wondering with the sigil, I would go back into the opponent's hand. We also still have a Magirna EX, quite the staple in this deck anyway. Mystic Heart, prevent all effects, excluding damage done to each of your opponent's Pokemon that has a metal energy attached. Existing effects are not removed. But again, what I use it for, which no one ever sees coming, is Soul Blaster. Metal to Colorless 120, and during your next turn, the base damage is 60. This can really surprise a lot of players. We still have, as far as support goes, one Mana EX for Aqua 2. Anything with a water energy gets free retreat. Pretty straightforward. One Hoopa EX for the Scoundrel Ring. Being able to search out three more EXs aside from another Hoopa. Also, shout out. Got some Hoopa sleeves. Hoopa Unbound to be specific. And of course, still the one Shaman EX for setup. Bench it, Jody have six. Chances are we might be losing Shaman soon. Which is gonna really slow down the format. That's it for Pokemon. On to the support account. We have three copies of Professor Sycamore. Discard your hand, draw seven. No real explanation needed. Alongside, of course, three copies of N. Both players shuffle each draws one for each of their remaining prizes. We're still gonna have this around at least for a little while longer. As for another one, we might be losing two copies of Lysander. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. We still run the two copies of Ninja Boy. Switch out a basic on your field for another basic in the deck. Any damage, cards attached, etc. All remain on the new Pokemon. Shuffle the other one back into your deck. Now it's time for an update from Sun and Moon Base. One Professor Kakui. This makes Giovanni's scheme completely obsolete, because you're drawing two cards and you're boosting the damage by 20 before applying weakness and resistance. With Giovanni, it was either draw to have 5 or boost damage by 20. Kukui essentially does both. We still have the one Pokemon Ranger to remove all effects of attacks, like Jolteon's Flash Rain, the Mirror Match, Giratina's Chaos Wheel, although we're definitely losing Giratina soon. Bloody freaking rotations. And one delinquent. Discard the stadium in play, and your opponent discards three cards from their hand. Now, originally I ran Kendra EX for Big Storm, 
but I find that Delinquent just does the job better and it can disrupt your opponent. That's it for supporters. On to items. Very straightforward for VS Seekers. Put a supporter from your discard back into your hand. Like I've said before, and I'll say it time and time again, you cannot run less than four VS Seekers in any competitive deck. Although we might be losing VS Seekers soon as well. We have three counties of Ultramar. Discard two cards, get out any Pokemon. Ideally, you're going for Hoopa at the start, unless for some reason it's prized. I actually had, at one point in a Gyarados match, both my Hoopa and Shaman prized. Not fun. And that's putting it lightly. We also have four copies of Trainer's Mail. Like the top four cards of your deck, you may reveal a trainer card you find there except for another trainer's mail, put it into your hand, shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Now, remember what I said about the whole alternate artwork thing? Which, by the way, is a lazy decision. I don't know why they didn't just make them actual promos. If what I heard is correct, the trainer's mail in the Battle Arena deck, Black Curum versus White Curum, is also considered an alternate artwork. Yeah, kind of stupid. Meaning we're likely losing Trainer's Mail as well. One thing we're not losing though, three copies of Crushing Hammer. Flip a coin of heads, discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Only used for disruption, and some versions of this play four. I could only find room for three personally. And yes, they're all League promos if you couldn't see. We also have in here three copies of the Fighting Fury Belt. The basic Pokemon this is attached to gets plus 40 HP, and its attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, with Guardians Rising out, I was actually tempted to cut one of these out for a Choice Band, which quite literally makes Silver Bangle obsolete and expanded. And don't get me wrong, Choice Band is good, it's amazing in fact, such a game changer even. But I think finding Fury Belt consistency really helps with this deck, especially since Mew is kind of a glass cannon. Another tool we might be losing is two copies of Floatstone. It's still a really good card all the same. Whoever has this attached has free retreat cost, pretty much. Now this is one card I kind of hope gets reprinted, but one copy of Super Rod still. Shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energies back into the deck. We also still play the one special charge to shuffle two special energies back into the deck, because this deck mostly runs special energy. Now for another addition from Guardians Rising is a copy of Field Blower. Arguably a broken card. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon Tool Cards and Stadium Cards in play, yours or your opponents, and discard them. You can discard enemy choice bands, fighting fury belts, floatstones, their stadium, although they'd be using the link for that anyway. It's so ridiculous. Our stadium of choice, at least for the time being, is still three copies of Parallel City. If you play it with the blue side facing you, you can only have three Pokemon on your bench. Play it with the red side facing you, fire, water, and grass damage from your side is weakened by 20. And that is before applying weakness and resistance, by the way. As if everything else, last but not least, the energy count. We do play one basic water and one basic lightning energy for a little bit of extra consistency. That, and just in case we need to attack with Jolteon or Glaceon themselves. We also have four copies of Rainbow Energy. These are all Sun and Moon base artwork. This can provide any type of energy, but only provides one type of energy at one time. When you attach this, put one damage counter on. So you're essentially taking 10 damage when you put this on. But since Mew's going to have access to everything this way, you really should just do it. It's not going to make much of a difference. Rainbow Energy is so good for Mew. And also, last but not least, four double colorless energy. Because everything requires at least a double colorless energy cost. Mad Bull GX, Flash Ray, Crystal Ray, pretty much everything. But with that, that is it for the updated new EX Ninja Box deck. Ninja Box deck, sorry. New EX Ninja Box updated complete. And next time, as promised earlier, Mewtwo EX, Lunala GX. Later, guys.